My name is Angie Boldry. I have a long history with Republican politics. So how long have I been a Republican? Wow, it's basically my entire life. I think I started handing out flyers for a local congressman when I was six or seven years old. And now, no, I'm, I'm not voting for Trump. I didn't vote for Trump. And we'll be supporting Joe Biden coming up this fall. I'm a mom now, and I really want somebody that's in the Oval Office that my girls can look up to and see as someone that they can aspire to be at some point. And I mean, I just don't see that in our president right now. Um, I also want somebody that, you know, went on the world stage, you know, other countries are going to look to not make fun of. And that's exactly what we have right now. And that's just not acceptable. Biden's got decades working to bring groups together, which I think is really important, especially right now. And Donald Trump hasn't done anything to bring any groups together. It's basically, you know, his way or the highway since this whole thing started. Um, also, Biden's got the foreign policy experience that I think we desperately need, and, you know, where if you look at Trump, we're getting mocked on a national stage, which is, you know, not okay. So, and that way I just, I had to go Biden over Trump. Do I think it's okay for Republicans to vote for someone other than Donald Trump? Actually, it's, it's not even a question of whether it's all right or not. I mean, I would say it's more your duty to if that's not who you believe should be president. It, it, we're not supposed to be just good Republicans and go and, and, you know, write down that X every time we need to because that's what we're told to do. We're Republicans because we have brains and we do what we believe is right. And if you don't feel Donald Trump is right for us, you shouldn't be voting for him.